Well, these dance moves are pretty good. I learned these on a Croatian yacht. Oh, this is great. But did you hear Costa want to buy it? I think this means we need to help Bayern make a striker. What I really think it means is we need some techno teamwork. We need the pace of Ramos. And the dribbling of Kagawa. And to finish it off, bro, the height of Shakiri. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I call a tiny, tiny hippo. So you wanna buy packs, but you got no coins, and you wanna pack bail, but you hate FIFA points, and you wanna beat your brother with a super fly team, but your coin total zero, so it's basically a dream. You FIFA is the answer to your question. Cheap and reliable, the best on the net here. CWB for 8% off. Stack them coins and load your squad up. The new setup looks kind of crazy, bro. Test, test, test. What's happening, boys, and welcome to the new Bion Striker episode here. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at Douglas Costa, and whenever you see the name, the first thing you wanna say is Diego Costa. Doesn't really sound the same, but it's the first thing you want to say. Now, he was a pretty sweet card for the Russian League. In real life, he's more in the winger mold. That's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be the understudy to Frank Ribéry and Robin at Bayern now that he's transferred. Nice little fact, little factoid for you guys. He is the fourth highest transfer fee acquisition in Bayern history. As well, he's going to be taking on number 11, which was Shakiri's number, so that's also kind of a cool fact. But really, the main thing we're looking at are his stats, and they lend himself to being a great striker. Now, with Schweinsteiger leaving, the most common midfield you're going to see in 16, I would imagine, is something along the lines of either a, a Gutze or a Philip Lahm, if they keep Lahm at the defensive midfielder uh, uh, position. So probably Gutze and Lahm, and then, um, I mean, Thiago and Xabi Alonso. A lot of people don't use them just because uh, Xabi's really, really slow, and then Thiago doesn't do anything particularly great in the game. Now, the obvious combo if you're running a two-striker set is to have Lewandowski and then someone maybe like Ramos, maybe someone a little pacier, but uh, I submit that Costa would be a pretty freaking sweet striker to have. He's got 86 acceleration, 85 agility, and 85 balance. Oh yeah, he's got freaking five-star skill moves. He's also got all the dribbling traits, and in this particular squad, we've inserted him with Thomas Muller. Hopefully, I'm really, really hoping that uh, that uh, that in FIFA next year, we get him as a striker. All of Thomas Muller's inform cards have been at striker. His base card is a right mid, which doesn't, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense given that you know, Robin is the right mid that you're going to use in FIFA. But anyway, we've dropped him into a sweet-looking squad. Alan Pardew in there with the Korean Manager League. We're just going to leave it like that because it's a full Bundesliga side anyway. Uh, up to 96% smack my bitch up. And we're probably going to do a special episode if he hits 100%. I'm not really sure what I meant to do if he hits 100%. Per usual, guys, if you do enjoy the episode, hit that like button as well. If you want to interact with me on Instagram... Why am I fucking punching? If you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. Also, let me know what you think about the new setup. I've got a whiteboard here that I can start like putting stuff on I think or whatever but anyway just need a little bit of feng shui inspiration some of you guys will get that reference but uh let's get into a match let's see how he performs we got ourselves a little kid sale right here and we <laughs> wow holy dick bitch before every FIFA game I take a I take a stick of tape and I um I pad my fingers with it like this so it gives it so it gives my fingertips a little added I know you guys are gonna be like Zway what the hell are you doing but it actually does help you grip the uh you know, I take the stick off the, the tape, and it actually helps you grip the controller better. I've also changed the ball to a green color. I don't know how that's going to affect things. All right, here we go. Oh, Costa. Oh, dude. Let's go. Costa. Oh, fuck. Buffon. Dude, he did like a jetpack animation. He cut through the defender. That was sick. So Costa's long shots are actually not that bad. He has 80 shot power, and then he's got 77 long shots, which given him being an 80 overall card is not bad at all. He's got a little bit of everything. Oh shit. Pogba. Fucking Pog! I know this is gonna sound like bullshit. I have a cut on my right thumb um, due to a canoe that capsized yesterday, which was one of. It was actually pretty scary. I mean, I'm not gonna go into huge detail, but essentially, like, I could have been attacked by a shark. So, there's that. <sighs> I mean, he's got a fucking all star scope. No excuse, we're winning this match. What a shot. Alright, that's how he wants to play. Look, can you see that? Can you see the cut? It's, dude, it's there. It's a cut. Yes. Yep. Long shot! Oh, fuck. Scoop turn. And then the pop! Oh, fuck, Costa! Again, this is just an instance where you have to acknowledge that Tevez is just a beast. 
I mean, team of the season, Tevez. Holy shit. Look at the line ball spin. Identical stats. He's got a bit more possession than I do. But, uh, yeah, I'm confident we can pull this one back. I, it, games always start like this. I always go down, and then I come back in the second half. Let's see if we can do that. Come on, boys. Boys. Guys. Send it off. Robin? Rob that! Let's go! Voice to Robin! The freaking hookup of dreams! Alright, Costa, come on, man. We're expecting a little bit more from you. That was all Royce. Holy shit. Fuck. Come on, man. World-class keeper. And he makes you just look like a little duck. Come on, close your legs, man. Jesus Christ. Hey, that's a peno. That's a fucking peno. Let's go. 3-2. Or well, hopefully it's going to be 3-2. Let's go. We're not giving Costa any cheap goals. We're going to give it to Muller. Oh my god, is he going to miss this? Is he going to miss this? Oh, let's go. 3-2. I don't think I've ever scored. I, this entire FIFA, I've never scored a rebound off a of peno. Got him. Got him. Costa, let's go. Costa with the fucking long shot. 77 long shot is capable. You can make those shots with 77 long shot. Holy shit, Costa with the game tying goal. God, his teammates, even though they're wearing the Cameroon shirt. Wow. What a pop. Ball roll and then just a beautiful pop that Buffon had no chance of getting to. Good second. Good set. Good set with the rip. We're not going to Penos. I'm telling you right now. We're not going to Penos. We're winning this here. We're winning this here, Alaba! Oh my god! That's why you do that! That's why you send it to the top! That's why you send it to the top of the box, bro! Holy shit, dude! He's freaking out! Alaba can't believe it! That could be the winner, boys! Holy shit! The send from Hummels, and then Alaba rips it! Decent balance. Decent enough balance. There's that. Send it in. Send it in. Yes! Yes, that's it! Let's see the rage quit. Perfect movement from Costa. Really, I gotta give myself more credit for that. Oh, God. I say we didn't need it. Oh, my God. As he fucking scores. Nine goals between us. Aguero, get the hell out of here, bro. Aguero just made the fish face. That's it. We fucking won. Let's go. Yeah. Douglas Costa striker was well deserved to have that role for this match. Now, let me say a couple of things. Uh, breakaway speed isn't all that. Doesn't have everything that you would want in a striker. His work rates are medium, medium. But to be honest with you, he plays like one that's at high low. He's always looking for the pass. He's always looking to make that run. And um, I actually didn't even have the instruction set as... Uh, uh, um, get in behind which is what i usually do but anyway boys that is the episode and wouldn't you know it costa gets the 9.1 which is good for man of the match had a goal had an assist played a great all-around role let me know in the comment section below if you guys might try him out at striker next year or even this year and uh yeah let me know in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy the episode hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below let me know what you think about the new setup does it look cool does it just let me know but anyway i'll see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time choose Later, I did. Two, three.